guys, Moshe the Electric Israeli, and thank you for joining, trying to give you some distraction. And uh, now it's April Fool's Day today, so um, everything I'm going to tell you is true, actually. Um, so everybody obviously anticipating the uh, uh, delivery numbers of for Q1 uh, for Tesla, and the stock yesterday was up like $22, today is down as of now for $8, $15 or so. And there's two competing thoughts. Credit Suisse thinks that the um, the delivers will be actually 75,000, which is not that bad considering all the craziness. Adam Jonas from uh, Morgan Stanley thinks it's gonna be 88,000. I say that the actual uh, available cars that Tesla would have could have delivered was more than a hundred thousand <clears throat> because they did reach <clears throat> the million mark uh, early this year and we know that they delivered all time nine hundred thousand but again deliveries and actual production and available cars is two, two different stores now <clears throat> it would be difficult to reach that that point because of the shutdown there's a complete total shutdown and, and anything, and even I, who got all, I, I did all the paperwork for my Tesla Model Y, and nobody knows when I'm gonna get it because it's just basically stuck, it's stuck, it's stuck, it's not coming. Uh, so uh, we'll see what happens. I think that um, <clears throat> anything about 75,000 would be a very good, very good thing for Tesla. We know that Q2 and Q3 are gonna be tough, maybe some recovery on Q4, because it's just because of getting things uh, going so if i would make a prediction and by the way put in your comments uh uh what do you think it's going to be the number if i make a the best case scenario that the economy start to reopen sometime in may sometime in may with some precautions with some you know uh <clears throat> Let's make sure that we're doing the right thing, just like they did in the Shanghai factory, which has been reopened since uh, February. If we do the real precautions for workers and make sure that everybody is in is not tested positive, uh, a, it will take maybe a month or so, let's say until the end of the month, early June, middle of June, to get things going. So Tesla can revamp. So Q will be really difficult really we rely only on china almost because until you get things going until you get things moving it will be very hard q3 maybe there will be a little recovery you can see some normal numbers and q4 will be you know great 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 gangbusters that all depends on controlling the pandemic and and starting to reopen sometime beginning of may middle of may getting going and and seeing and seeing a little bit of production now remember this is uh, a supply chain so it's not like you decide to do something and if everybody's connected everybody's interconnected so i predict anything between 75 to 80 thousand morgan stanley say 88 thousand that would be great uh would be a good number q2 will be tough q3 will be mm, and q4 will be great um, and, and we'll see what happens. I don't think they're going to get to the 523,000, uh, delivers this year. That's just, I cannot believe it. I wish, I wish they, I wish, but I, I can't. I just can't believe it that this will happen. I mean, Europe is shut. Nobody's buying anything in here too. Nobody's buying anything. Okay, guys, make your prediction. Thanks you. Thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Share my videos and subscribe. See you tomorrow.